Before you get started with this video, there are a couple prerequisites. First, make sure that your Velocity system is connected to your 3VR system. If you need help with this, please review video 1 from this series. Secondly, make sure you have configured and tested at least one Velocity trigger action. If you need help with this, see video 2 in this series. Now that we have successfully connected our Velocity system with our Active 3VR instance and created trigger action events to begin recording and display live video feeds based on specific alarm or event criteria, let's put together a graphical map with doors and camera objects to create a visual representation of our facility. Let's get started by opening the Velocity client. On the top ribbon, select the Graphics module and click to open. It is recommended that the graphics module is maximized to fit the screen being worked on. To start, click the ID button in the upper left hand corner. The graphics module allows users to create a visual representation of their physical access system using images or drawings. Click import to select an existing floor plan image. There are multiple file types in the drop down menu that are supported by the graphics module. Select the file and click Open. With our floor plan imported, make sure to note the locations of the doors associated with controllers currently configured within your Velocity system. To begin placing objects on our graphical map, we will need to enter design mode by clicking the design button in the upper left corner. Go to your object library window and select the desired object to be placed on the map. In this example, we will place our front entry door object by dragging and dropping onto the map. Select the desired view of how the object will be viewed on the map. In this example, we will go with the door front view. Position and resize the door object as desired. Next, we will place our front entry camera object onto our graphical map. Go back to the object library and locate the 3VR appliance in the interfaces configuration subfolder. Expand the video integration and 3VR subfolders, highlight the desired camera from those listed and drag and drop the object onto the map. Select the camera type to be displayed on the map and click OK. Resize and position the object to match the physical location of the camera. Now that we understand how to place objects onto graphical maps, we will complete our pre-populated door map. Since we are no longer in design mode, we are able to interact and send commands to our objects by right-clicking on them. Let's take a look. We want to complete our map by adding the front entry door object and camera objects to this floor plan. Enter design mode again by clicking the design button in the upper left corner. Next, drag and drop the front entry camera object from the object library onto the floor plan. We will follow up with that by dragging and dropping the front entry door object from our object library on the floor plan. Make sure to resize and place the door as close to the physical location as possible. Now we will exit design mode by clicking the design button. The objects will now be able to receive commands via right click. Let's go ahead and right click on the camera, hover over the Identive Video Integration Camera option and click View Camera. This provides a live view of the selected camera right from our graphical floor plan. And that's how we create a graphical map with interactive door and camera objects to quickly identify system information with visual cues. 